Hey everybody, I wanted to show you something real quick on uh, a really important uh, modification that I uh, wanted to bring to everybody's attention or anybody that's making an ice chest, air conditioner, homemade, or uh, improving one that they've already got to make the ice last longer or make them run colder or colder longer as well is uh, if you've watched any of the videos that I have about the uh, blue ice chest that I used to use um, for myself for seven or eight years as an air conditioner, uh, it was a it was a medium sized ice chest, and now you know that I also make the the miniature air conditioners. So one of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention is that when you when I scaled them down, I changed the design a little bit as I was scaling down, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So on the original ice chest cooler or air conditioner I used to use. The fill points were at the top, or the circulation points were at the top of the radiator. If you've noticed from any of the pictures on, on the Facebook, on the old uh, pictures of the blue ice chest or the videos, the radiator sat upward like vertical like this. So the water would come in, and I had a 90 similar to this up here and up here. So the ice water would go in one side and then out the other. And what happens is it's kind of in the position of a radiator on an old uh, tractor or a Model T or first one of the early, uh, well, even the modern uh, internal combustion engine radiators for cooling is that the fill point is at the very top. The radiator flow can be out of the side, but the fill point had to be at the top. And if you notice on a car, usually one radiator hose is at the top and one's at the bottom. But on mine... I ran it uh, in the both in and out of the top, which is fine because it's cut, it's divided in half. So it would circulate through this side, fill up, come out here, and overflow into the return tube. So one of the important things I'd like to mention is that the the height, the top of the radiator is at, is at the top, the fill point, the high point. So the radiator on the blue air conditioner, uh, ice chest air conditioner, was always full to the top. So the whole radiator was always full of ice water because of the position. But if you notice in the red ice chest air conditioner, the miniature version that I'm making now that's portable to carry, I have the radiator sitting sideways. And if you'll notice in some of the pictures while I was designing, uh, giving tutorials was just explaining water flow and how to make your ice uh, last longer by running a... a a water pump with a, a potentiometer or a speed dial or a, a gauge or a gate that would slow the water down so when it went in one side and came out the other it would run slower but one thing you have to do that I'd like to bring to your attention this is really important whether you now if you if you put it this way with oops if you put it this way with the this one towards the top it would be a little more uh, efficient or work better than if it, it's the way that I've got it but when I built this one I just happened to put the uh, the tubes on the right hand side but if you notice the high point of the water unless the water flowing really fast like on the way I used to run the water wide open it would fill this up so it would stay full of ice water so when the fan drew the air across the whole surface of the radiator the whole surface was cold but if you if you slow the water down like I am now to a crawl to save uh, ice and make your ice last longer, no matter which uh, position these are in, if it's on this side, the water at a crawl will only fill up to right here. So if the, the fan will only pull the, cold, the air across the cold portion here, and this portion won't be as cold because it won't have water in it. So if it were turned this way, it would work a lot better, but not perfect, but the water flow would be up here to the return. So if the air box stopped right here and all that was cold, full of cold water and that was just full of air or empty with a vacuum, then at least it would be more efficient. But what I'm doing now to make it even better is, uh, it's, it's pretty close to the same, but since I've got this one uh, designed already, with the radiator on its side and I just happen to have the tubes on this side which I could reverse them and put them on the other 
is I, I drilled two holes in the front here and then I'll close these off and then I'll have the return water here so my high point for return will be here so the radiator at a with the with the water pump I turned to the lowest setting where the water's just creeping through so you can save your ice and make your uh, air conditioner last longer the water flow the air conditioner core the heater core radiator will be full to right here and the air box pretty much comes to about right here so the entire area the surface area of the radiator will be full of water on, on this one i just happen to have the the have it backwards uh because i put these uh the hasp clamps on here to hold the air box on so you could take it apart and, and disassemble it each time you carried it around town so i wanted to bring that to your attention is that you need your high point return water to be at the top of where is, is high closest to the top of the radiator surface area that the fan will be pulling across so if you're only pulling across the center section it only needs to be here if you're only pulling across that much then it only needs to be here but my air box covers almost the entire surface of this radiator so i want it full all the way to the top so right at that curve curvature right there on the uh, tank the water will be full to that and this is a relief valve so I have a, a, a plug that I pull out to drain the water and I'll put another uh, drain plug at the bottom these aren't uh, in all the way so I'll actually angle that when I uh, put the plug down here so I'll reroute that at an angle for the return or for the, the water flowing going in but it's pretty close so this one here if you turned it on this side it, I just happen to have the the, the, that, the the clasps the clasp the clamps already on there so I just had it on that side so you if you do it this way the top of the water flow at, at a crawl will be about right here but the air box comes up pretty close to right between those two first uh, water ports right there so as you can see if it's only full to here then it's going to probably at most when you're running it the ice water slowly to preserve your ice it'll be full to here and if the fan comes up another inch or two up here the surface area where it pulls the air across then you're going to lose a little efficiency so you could turn the radiator on either side if you wanted but it would be best to get this return and then also notice that this is a lot smaller than this so the low point of the high point is at that edge which is actually almost an inch if you reverse this upside down the low point here if it were upside down to the high point of the ridge you lose a, maybe three quarters to an inch of uh, cooling space on the core so i wanted to bring that to your attention so if you run it this way at least your the high point return is on top and if you run it this way if you if you didn't want to make the modification with the brass 90s the elbows then this is pretty close to here but it's the top so if it's running slow it's going to be down here so you could if you wanted to you could put the the brass elbow return on this side a little bit higher make it a little more efficient i just happen to have it on this side so i'm not going to be using these ports anyway so i just wanted to bring that to your attention to fill your surface area with cold water you want the return water so mine will be pumping in the bottom filling up and coming out the top so uh, it, in the air box where my fingernail is between these two here that's where my air box stops when I connect the air box so right here is full the surface area is full of ice water so I just wanted to bring that to your attention because it's something that I uh, neglected to mention before most of the videos I put up they're not uh, they're kind of detailed in specific areas so this is one specific area I was going to say they're not detailed but as a whole it's hard to get into every part of the design so I wanted to bring that to y'all's attention to remember when you're building an air conditioner out of ice chest using a heater core is to make sure your return point is the highest point coming back so that way the surface area of the heater core is full of 33 degree ice water so that way it'll make it uh, run more efficient for every little degrees that counts as well as um, when you turn the water flow down it doesn't affect the cooling 
performance. It just preserves the ice because the water return is just trickling back in on the ice. It's not pounding and melting the ice. So y'all have a good day and I hope that helps. Amen.